This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Cam Power and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna do a range test of Tesla Model 3 Highland. This is long range. I've done it in winter. That was Marcus Beal's car a long time ago, but that was cold. Now we should see what kind of consumption number we get today during summer-ish. It's going to be somewhat windy, which is a slight disadvantage, but let's see anyway. So. This is a press car from Tesla. What is important that we have the most aerodynamic rim wheel configuration now. Michelin E Primacy and also 235, 45, 18 inch with these uh, hubcaps thing. You can take them off. And then here, it just looks like another Tesla we have seen before, right? So, oh man, it is nice to be in a car with proper software again. So the plan is to just, wait, how is this? Yeah. Drive from here, Ayonte Dal to Strandlich and back in. That's the 66 kilometer loop. We're gonna do the 120 test first. So let's go. Look here. We have a new feature. We can look at weather forecast. Oh, it's gonna rain at six. Okay, I better finish the test before six then. All right, we're on the move and we have to cruise 122 kilometers per hour on the speedo to match 120 on GPS. So yeah, Tesla is uh, usually the best when it comes to uh, how accurate the speedometer is. Some of the other cars, the worst cars, they, we have to cruise at 126 <laughs> to match 120 GPS speed. So, yeah, so far so good. Uh, current drive, there is a reset button here, you know. Oh, I, I, I just uh, had to complain a bit because I just came from a Chinese car. And the software in Tesla is just miles ahead. And I also noticed that the ride comfort is really good. I almost forgot how good the Highland is. You know, yeah, recently I tested the Xpeng G6. I mean, it's a nice ride, but it was like, I was blown away when I came in the Highland. Like, whoa, whoa, what the heck? It has better ride, not so bouncy, but still uh, softens up the harsh bumps. And also, uh, it seems to be quieter. We are now even on the rough asphalt side here. On the other side, it's uh, smoother asphalt. But um, I think I never actually tested the Highland with these kind of tires. It was winter tires with Marcus Beal. So, wow, okay. We'll see how efficient these tires are. And also, I'll have to check how quiet they are. And how is Mjösen today? Oh, somewhat wind over here at uh, Minnesund. We have wind from the south, so tailwind right now. Hmm. I should do the coasting test then. Holy macaroni, look at the consumption. 145 watt hour per kilometer, we're going on 120. <laughs> this is incredibly low. It's like lower than uh, legacy automaker is going at 90 kilometers per hour. Yeah, I think it's time to say, Ionic, go home. <laughs> and of course we have auto steer and it goes so smooth. You see, we have a curve, no problem. Tesla Autopilot, man, it, it's, no, that's not the Highland. It's just the best. Smooth, doesn't do any weird shit, you know? Doesn't go any jiggling, doesn't uh, throttle weird, you know? This is the best, man. Elon is the best. Yeah, hail to the king. Man, I mean, to the Lord, Elon Musk. Man, there is some traffic with some poor lane discipline today, so... Um, of course, that affects us a bit. Uh, we are not able to drive at the desired speed all the time. But I try to compensate by going slightly faster than 120 on the GPS speed. Uh, so um, ideally, I need to try this at night or earlier, but I just couldn't start earlier than now. Look, auto lane change. Wow, alien technology. Worked great. And consumption was 160 watt hour per kilometer. Wow, this is really good despite the windy conditions. So 19 degrees outside. Uh, the railway drive we tested was, uh, I mean, it had better uh, weather condition, but then it was only 155 watt hour per kilometer. And then distance seems to be correct, but we have to verify it in the long test. All right, and then 90 test, we had to cruise to 92. And we tried to match the staggering low consumption on the rebel drive, which was 114 watt hour per kilometer. Right now it's 136, so it needs to drop. But uh, the weather is getting slightly worse. You see that uh, we have 18 degrees and hey, wait, oh, okay. Uh, but the temperature is gonna drop. It will be cloudier, but um, uh, maybe not rain, we'll see. We have clear sky over there, but behind us here where the wind is coming from, then the clouds are coming. 
right so far we are at 109 watt hour per kilometer that is amazing you know tesla is not even on 800 volt architecture this car is just incredibly efficient it doesn't need to have 100 kilowatt hour battery 82 kilowatt hour is still plenty enough well let's do the closing test but this time i'm gonna do it in thai because i'm also making a thai video okay they're not your coast up they're long to do woman uh okay okay region region huh? okay neutral only check it one up okay they're not a top in lot of money up leona not a hot thing like easy to get a method more than that the color me long song now the cotton is it get on sir to check i gonna got hi win south seven kilometers per hour okay they'll go and they'll go and the one ข้อเสียของบอลสามนะครับคือโอเคดราคูฟิชมันดีแต่ว่ามันไม่ค่อยหนักนะครับเราต้องการความความหนักเยอะนะโอ้แต่ว่าโอ้ยมาขับร้อยยี่สิบโอ้เบลลี่ก็ไม่ให้ตำนวนเห็นนะครับร้อยยี่สิบสองโอ้เพราะถ้ามันยิ่งหนักแล้วก็ดราคูฟิชมันต่ำนะครับอันนั้นมันจะดีสุดนะครับตอนนี้เรคคอร์ดนี้มันเป็นสกอร์เดอร์เอ็นยักคูเพย์ไม่รู้เป็นล่าสุดหรือว่าเมื่อไหร่ไม่รู้แต่ว่ามันขับไปถึงป้ายหรือว่าใกล้ๆป้ายที่จะเอ็กซิตนะครับจนถึงกว่ามันจะไปถึง90กิโลเมตรต่อชั่วโมงแต่ว่าตอนนี้มันก็ยังลงดอยนิดหน่อยนะครับว้าวอิมเพรสซีฟฮะสุดยอดเลยนะครับเทสลาเนี่ยแล้วก็เมื่อ2อสเดือนก่อนหรือว่าเมื่อไหร่นะสักเดือน2เดือนก่อนใช่ไหมผมก็เทสต์คลาสสิกไอโอนิกกับ ID3 นะครับแล้วมันก็โรลไปถึงสักที่นี่เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวที่ไหนนะที่นี่มั้งมันเป็น90กิโลเมตรต่อชั่วโมงนะครับอันนี้ still gliding still gliding ยังไม่จบแล้วนะครับจะไปถึงไหนเนี่ย come on come on come on come on <laughs> Tesla come on do it for Elon Musk ไปอีกโอ้โหสุดยอดแล้วนะเนี่ย90นี่เนี่ยเนี่ย90 90โอเคโอเคโอเคอ่ะเกือบจะถึงป้ายแล้วนะครับว้าวโอเคโอเคเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวใส่ auto pilot ก่อนเนี่ยไอเอ๊ยอย่าเบรกอย่าเบรกเนี่ยอันนี้นะครับเทสนี่นะเราจะเทสดูมันมันก็ว่าเป็นเป็นโชว์เคสว่าโมเดลสามมันใช้ไฟฟ้าน้อยแค่ไหนนะครับ efficiency สุดยอดเลยนะ drag coefficient ต่ำ Uh, low rolling resistance, low uh, resistance in gearbox. Look, oh, took young, the young up. Wow. Right, you guys probably didn't understand anything on that. <laughs> But this is usually how it goes when I make the Thai video and I only have one shot and I shoot the English. But at least they understand something in English, right? We just turn around at Rutsuk down. Now we're heading south again. Oh, what the heck? There's some still some slowdowns here. Uh, the map, even after all these years, has not been updated. This road is probably almost 10 years old by now. But okay, consumption so far is 109 watt hour per kilometer. Now it's gonna go up because of the headwind. But remember that this car is super aerodynamic. It slices through the air like butter through cheese. So um, yeah, uh, and also we can estimate that. Uh, we can uh, from here to circuit doll we are will arrive at 41 percent and then if we do round trip 29 and it's always visible here you know the mb cars they also have this kind of information but you have to dig into the menu to find it it should always be here very useful information you know not hide it in some, some menu or whatever <laughs> we are getting close to minnesota and yeah here comes the rain as forecasted so this will make the consumption higher it's not optimal the road surface will eventually be wet so right now it's 118 watt hour per kilometer and it's 16 degrees celsius all right we're done with the test 122 watt hour per kilometer and the distance is reported as 183 but you know it doesn't show any decimal but based on uh, when it ticks over actually it runs up so when it's 182.5 it ticks over to 183 so from what I've seen, it seems like the, the actual uh, distance is 183, which means that this car over reports by roughly half percent. 
So then correct that this is uh, 123 watt hour kilometer. So yeah, slightly worse than I was hoping for, but okay, what it is, what it is. A rainy day today towards the end. Do you like the sexy button t-shirt? Yeah, I have the sexy knob for Highland now. I'm gonna test it soon. And uh, yeah, if you want to buy sexy buttons or sexy stock or whatever sexy, no, no, sexy stock is not coming yet. Yeah, that would make Tesla great again. But uh, you can check in the video description, you can get some discount and uh, you can use my link. Yeah, but okay, based on the test today, uh, even in not a perfect run, it seems like we can go over 600 kilometers and even in the high speed test, you can go 466 kilometers, you know, as long as you don't need a big ass SUV, you can get this Highland, this uh, poor man's Tesla, and you still get nice ambient light, nice interior, autopilot is included, you know, good soundproofing, good ride, motorized liftgate. What other car in this price range can match this range and this charging speed, huh? There isn't. Uh, there was, uh, some of the Chinese cars, uh, well, okay, good luck living with the Chinese software and the auto stair over there. <laughs> so, you know what it is? It is game over. Yeah, Elon Musk, he's a genius. That's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.